so it is Monday here in New York and it's, I don't know. All right, fine. He's a marathon. I'm a three-time marathoner. He's a three-time marathoner. We're all very proud of him yesterday. It was not easy. Um, so he got his medal engraved this morning. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Four hours, 50 minutes, and 16 seconds. Four I memorized it. Just hours. That, that, that's, that's, that's not that's, right Let's come into focus. Yay, focus. And the back shows my name and my time. Um, How you feeling? I feel a little sore on the, the back of my, just my right leg on the back of my uh, thigh, okay. right, like above my knee. Yeah. Um, that's a little sore, but it was, um, it was a good race. I ran at a slowish pace. Okay. Um, I never once felt out of breath. Wow. That's a that lot doesn't of mean miles it doesn't mean that. that my legs weren't like what are you doing? You should stop this. Let's go home, order Chinese food, maybe some pizza, and have a rum and coke. Uh, that happened, you know, pretty early on. No, with the with the marathon, the way I see it, and this is personally, um, the first fourteen and a half miles, yeah, it's always great. It's always like, this is great. After 14 and a half, mile 15 is when you hit the 59th Street Bridge. Yeah. Um, which, for those of you who don't know in New York, that's when we leave Queens and we go over a bridge that went into Manhattan. That's the first time where there are no people around. On, okay. Are you spectating? Because they're not allowed on that bridge and that bridge only. And you hit mile 15 on that bridge. My body is always like, all right, we're done. Let's let's just stop here. Time to go home. Yeah. So mile 15 through about mile 20, yeah, 21 is always really hard. To me, it's the hardest part. Isn't that where you come around though and you have all those people on First Avenue cheering for you? First Avenue, yeah, is the hardest part of the race. Okay. Yeah, it's about that chunk. It's the hardest. Because when you train for a marathon, you usually do a three-hour run, which is between 16 and 20 miles. Okay. So that's where your body's like, okay, you should stop doing you this. You should stop now. This is stupid. Yeah, like this is what you usually train with. You have to get over that hump. Um, thankfully, Emma met me at mile 22. Um, I swapped out my headphones because I know they were going to die. Um, she gave me potato chip. potato chip. I really wanted salt. Mm -hmm. She got me a bottle of water. Not that I need it because they give you they water give you and water. Gatorade along the way. But you don't, you only get like a third of a cup of water. They don't yeah. fill it up. So it was yeah. nice having a Hold bigger on. bottle. Um, Most important though. And very last minute, what did I bring you? She brought me Advil. I texted her along the way asking for Advil. And I kid you not, about two to four blocks later, the Advil kicked in. And my legs felt so fresh. Like I was starting the race and I sped up. It's insane. It was phenomenal. Like if you look at my last three miles mm -hmm. of the marathon... I dramatically sped well, up. Well, I'm so glad that I was able to help you. So out. now I know I have to have Advil with me um, later on in the race. It was good. I'm glad I finished. I'm glad training is over, but it's it's not time to stop. I'll take a week off. I'll get back in. Not as crazy as I was, but I don't want to stop running. Okay. Um, I'm hoping next year to really crush it. A special shout out to Victor, who completed his first marathon. Some of you might know Victor and Elena. I met them a while ago. They are online friends. And I met them a while ago at a race because they, they watch our videos. They uh, saw me run too that yeah, one time I ran. Yeah, Victor crushed his first marathon. Congratulations, four hours, one minute, and I think- Oh my God, I didn't 24 know that. 24 seconds. Victor. 
Congratulations, that's crushed amazing. Crushed it. Holy crushed crap. Crushed it. Um, you know, it's a lot I'm of pressure shocked. running your first marathon and he did an amazing job. That so, is so fast, man. Great work, Victor. And Elena, you're up next. Next year, you have to be there. Um, it's a great race. Jeez. Enough marathon talk. I've wasted five minutes and 35 Wait, seconds. Wait, are you gonna talk about the thing I got in the mail today real quick? Sure. All right, two seconds of nerdiness. One I got two new dice in the mail today, they came. These are the dice. these are the the critical role dice. What Each makes one them is critical role dice? Each one is a different character. The the twenty is a symbol that represents the character. Oh, that's neat. See, now he's like, oh, that's kind of cool. I mean, I still it's not really my thing. I don't know. I what know this it's is. not his thing. Is this a music note? Yeah, it's for the bard. The bard. Can I see if I can figure them out? Yeah. Um, sure. That looks like a a, a rose or a moose head. Horns. Sure, horns. Whatever. Um. This is a, I'm not going to figure this out. This is a exclamation point. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is a, a bear with arrows. Yeah, ranger. Uh, this is a dove. It's a dagger with a feather. Sure. And this is a book over a sunrise. The, no, just a book for the DM. Uh, this is a anvil or a purse. No, it's a pint of ale. <laughs> and <laughs> this is a sunburst. That is the symbol for the Dorolo family. You were terrible, but I still love you anyway. Um, that is not actually why we're here today. Today, I wanted to finally get around to doing a bit of a taste test of our last week our box that we received from manx who is from the isle of man also known as steven he has a, he name. Has, he he has has a, a real name. name i call him by his internet name okay Sorry. he anyway, sent us some amazing stuff he sent us his own treat box that he made from things that are available in the I'm isle of man this. so first i want to get started with these is that okay beef jerky first so this is going to be a long video i'm sorry he sent us two but it says uh, once opened, please consume within three days. So we're just gonna open one because I don't think that Eric and I are gonna be able to eat it in three days. So this is well, beef built on. We ran a marathon in case you missed the first I part know, of this. I know, I know. All right, what kind of beef jerky is this? Beef. Beefy beef jerky, not just like chicken beef jerky. What do we got going on? It's pretty, it's pretty mild. It's just beef jerky. But it's, but it's actually jerky. pretty good. Mm. So far, so, Isle of Man. The it rotten. says, our biltong is made from the finest silverside beef. Our silverside beef joints are hand cut into strips, marinated in a blend of herbs and spices for 48 hours, and then slow dried for five to six days to produce our tender, liquor tasting biltong. 5% of all the profit goes to Mang's Charities. Mmm. This is mine. Good job. I'm not sharing anymore. Okay, fine. Do you want to do those next? What do you okay. next? Um, we have, I don't know what these are. These are golden butter mint knobs. Not mm -hmm. quite sure what a knob is. And old grumpy Manx knobs. I'll open one, you open the other. Okay. What are knobs? We're about to find out. Oh. Ow. It looks like tacky. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like tacky. Is there a... It says... By June 2018. Ooh. These ones are mint. Manx Fudge Factory. Oh, yeah. We're good. We're good. What are you going with? You have one already? No. It says these are minty. Well, try one. These Is this are rat golden, or something? golden butter, butter mint, not buttermilk, butter mint knobs. I have a little piece here. It's kind of hard. Kind of like, like, um... Oh, it's minty. It's uh, minty. Maybe I should have done this at the end. I don't know why it's going to be minty. So it's it's hard, like it's um, a hard candy. Yeah, but I'm trying. I'm trying. Like to... tough. No, it's not toffee. No. It's like um candy um, canes. That's exactly what it tastes like. It tastes like buttery candy canes. Yeah. I should have done this last because I didn't know these weren't chewy. Okay. I actually thought they were cookies, like hobnobs. We're gonna which save are these. Really, really yummy cookies. These will be completely devoured. They're really good. On the day after Thanksgiving, because in this household, 
we celebrate Christmas, but Christmas is not really spoken of. Music is not played. There is nothing until to do with Christmas until day, after, Thanksgiving. after Thanksgiving. I I'm a big advocate on celebrate the holiday that's coming before you jump ahead. I love Halloween. It's a great time. Thanksgiving, I'm not the biggest fan. I like food, so that's why I like skip Thanksgiving. But Christmas is phenomenal. But let's wait till after Thanksgiving. Okay. Um, I think we're gonna wait to eat those then because this is. I didn't know that they weren't chewy. I thought they were like chewy treats. And I want to get through the rest of everything else. I just want to try one. We're not gonna listen to Emma. I mean, if you're new to this channel, you must realize yeah. that we don't really. Thanks. We take what she has to say into consideration, but we kind of okay. do our own thing. Oh, Here's a piece for you. Afraid. What? You're supposed to chew it. What were you doing? It doesn't chew. You can't chew it. It's hard candy. I, I chewed it. That's why your teeth are soft. Yeah, that's why my teeth are kind of bad. Oh, I like these. These are like caramel. Mmm. These are all good. So these are old grumpy Meg Snobs. I feel like since I'm the old grumpy one, you should eat more of those. What are you going to be mine? These can happily be devoured before Christmas. We also have mm. two different types of fudge. Ooh, or do you fudge. want to do the coffee first? Let's do the coffee. All right, so. So I apologize. I am not a coffee person. I am a coffee person. You are. And I'm going to say right now. Gross. Sorry. That I have been drinking this coffee for the last several days. She has cheated. I apologize. I did cheat. The reason being that I read the These are good. expiration date. I like knobs. On the first bag Sounds of coffee, bad. which is this. No, that doesn't <laughs> The first bag of coffee is a single origin coffee, and the expiration date is actually next Friday. So I'm trying to drink it as fast as possible because it's delicious. You will do it. And because it needs to be really had before. It, it's not going to expire. It just isn't going to be quite as good. Wrap it up, music. I'm going to drink some more coffee. <laughs> Now, let me see what I know what this tastes like if I taste. I also. Eric weird, doesn't drink coffee at all. Weird thing and this about is me. It's black. I didn't put any milk or sugar in it. Weird thing. I don't like coffee. And I prefer lukewarm. It's lukewarm. You'll be Ooh, happy. Feels it's feel been warm. sitting out for a while. I'm not a coffee person. It's pretty excellent. I'm very happy with it. I mean, it I it tastes like coffee. So I haven't opened the other bags yet. What is this flavor supposed to be? It's supposed to be like butter, caramel, milk, chocolatey. I can honestly say. Can you smell it? If you smell it, you're going to get the hints of chocolate. Just smell it and see if it smells a little mint chocolate. Uh, uh, sure. Milk. Sorry, sure, milk but that's all could be. It could also be in my head. I can honestly say, no, when I open the there's bag, no that's milk in I, there. No, well, you, would, no you don't put milk in anyway. Anyway. You put one percent. That's not real milk. Um, I can honestly say, if I had to drink that, I would. And most coffee, I would not. It's good coffee. <laughs> We're moving on to cream and butter fudge. Once right. again, these are all from the Isle of Man. Um. And I don't know if you could take any purchase anywhere else but the Isle of Man. I don't know. Maybe on Amazon if you live near the Isle of Man. Maybe, but probably not. But so these are these are handmade fun handmade fudge. Little they, they these are these are from the original Manx Fudge Factory. Okay. You're gonna take a little cube and I'm gonna take a little cube? Yeah. Or do you wanna split a cube? Uh we can split a cube since we're having two. Okay. So this one is Cream and butter fudge, and this is Belgian dark chocolate, which is the one I'm looking forward to. Hold on, slow your roll. No, we're gonna do yours first. No, we're doing this first. No, we're doing yours. Why does that look like you took a piece of that? I have not taken a piece of it. Yeah, I do this. Mmm. Oh. Ooh. Okay. So I don't eat fudge very often. Maybe I should eat fudge more often. Wow. That is excellent. I okay. Promise I haven't opened this. Double cream and butter fudge. You are a winner. Rich fudge, rich fudgy fudge, rich and buttery, smooth and tasty. This says what? This is Belgian. Belgian dark, dark chocolate. chocolate. <laughs> Mama's a happy girl. 
<laughs> wow. Mm. <laughs> this is suitable for vegetarians. Oh, I don't care. Mmm. Ooh. This is mine too. No, mine. You want to put this in a piece? No. It's all mine. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good stuff. That is good. Wow. Thank you, Manx. Steven. For everything. Mm -hmm. Honestly, the coffee is amazing. I get up and I make it every morning. So A plus for sending coffee. And I, I am going to get through all the coffee that you sent. But the one that expires. So first. his rationale for one of, the, one of his rationales for sending this is because we do a treat box. And treat box will probably never do anything from the Isle of Man. Probably not. And I'm going to say right now. This was a way better. It's a big fail on you, Treat Box. Because this was amazing. This was amazing. You should send things from Isle of Man. So, cheers to that. I think that's it for today. That's going to be it. Hope you guys had a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we will talk to you next time. Bye, guys.